Made them cry. Completed chapter four. Episode two. Ooh. Who's I get it? Does she work at the pudding pie? Can I get an appointment with her? I see. Even police officers need a break. Smile, you're on camera. Right, first things first, we're checking out the cola. No, we're not. Are we? Yeah, checking out the cola machine. He's not wrong. Okay. They should probably repair that. Probably. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Oof. It's expenses. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? No, yeah. beauty. Yeah. I work here, okay? Beauty is about the front desk. Just to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Big B. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. I got you, girl. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes. The, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Uh, do you know Tweedledee? Have you seen Lily with anyone? Do you know Faith? Have you seen Snow here? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her. You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Uh, Lily. Was she Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named... Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. Uh, I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I oh, had dear. nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Oh. Well, you didn't try hard enough, now did you? Thanks. Wait. I feel mean. It'd be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. She just see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. She just wants to go to the room with us. Oh, beauty. Listen, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. 
Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see you report. It's just, well, you never know. Don't worry about it. Less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. We can say anonymous. Appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? It's two wolves, is it? Oh, these noises are sass. Sass F. Oh, it was a different room. <laughs> oh, the sass AF. It was this room. I promise. I promise it was this room. Housekeeping. Hello? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. I, Not I, to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Hey. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. Please. <sighs> Fine. I could put your name in the report, I'm just saying. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? Come no, on. No, Beast. We haven't even done not. anything yet. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just great. I know what this place is. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me. Oh, uh, boy. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Beast, listen to me. She's my side piece. <laughs> I'm not. Hey, bastard. I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop. Stop it. Is this you staying out of it? Talk to you after and do I this. I could trust you. I don't want to hurt you, so just calm down and Beast. I like how she still calls him Beast. <laughs> oh boy. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh that was lucky. I didn't even know which one was why. I did not press that in time. Bigby, <laughs> 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 no, don't hurt him. I know. Not how I intended on getting in here, but oh no! What have you done? Oh. What? What is this? It's another murder. What you did to the door? You can't just act like this whenever Stand you. Stand back! You you don't want to see this. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> they never listen, do they? Don't touch anything. Is this? Is this? Lily met her client here, Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. <laughs> I, so that's. Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. 
Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? You work here. Totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? He does not survive this porch test. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. That is a brutal. I can't believe this. Well, get out of here, All booty. The have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player. I think so. Yes. Okay. Uh, what's this? Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Hmm. Storybook. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. Monday? The whole book is about her? Yeah. Don't be a jelly. Was she breathing? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Um, he likes people helpless. He's obsessed with death. The... I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. Damn. This is creepy. Mm -hmm. Coffin and, and a weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Wow. Um, she should really leave. <laughs> you could have taken that for evidence. The only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. That's rude. That's rude, beauty. Get out of here. Wine. Classy. Why is this covered with red? I guess for dark ambience. For my arrival. Oh, please don't tell me these are like snow dresses. Poor girl. Rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? He This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it. Recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. I know I'm right. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person. Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. So <sighs> I don't I don't like that guy. I really don't. She must have been so scared. Uh-huh. Okay, come in. Let's do this. Snow white music. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Would have covered up the sound of the murder. Wow, imagine this playing when someone's getting murdered. Maybe she didn't see it coming. An apple? It's the poison apple? Something? No. Oh, 
there's more? What? What now? She was eating when it was like the apple in the book. Murder makes him hungry. He's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in the Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Obviously. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. You didn't have to stay here. I'm just saying. Oh, oh, secret note. Take it, Big B. Come on, you know you want to. Come on, come on. Someone's looking in the. I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no, Bigby. I've got chills. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. He wants what the real it? Snow. <gasps> Crane. I knew it. <laughs> I would like the record to show. I called it. Freaking Creeposaurus Rex. Hey, I got an achievement. Next time on The Wolf Among Us. Could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Oh. <gasps> Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Damn, Snow. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? He looks like a tree stump. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, uh, players' choices. How did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 12.8% of players accuse him of not caring about. Uh, oh. I'm surprised that so little did that. How did you treat the murder suspect? You and 62.4% of players persuaded him to talk. Did you let Snow come with you to the trip trap? You and... 91.9% .9 of players let her make her own decision. How did you handle Georgie Porgy? You and 69 knights. 0.9% of players didn't hit Georgie. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 77.8% of players opted not to hit Beast a second time. Join the discussion now, even though this game is quite old. Okay, so that is the second chapter of um, The Wolf Among Us. This game... <laughs> This game is insane. I am loving every moment of this game. Um, if you see me wearing the exact same outfit in the next video, then it's because I am going to play this straight off. <laughs> I'm done this video. Um, I love it. I love it. I can't get enough of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so that you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.